This is a 1980 Cutlass Supreme Brome. I suppose you have some games. Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. Sitting here in front of me is the latest edition. Now, this car came all the way from Washington. Not Washington, D.C., I'm talking Washington State, Seattle area. I live in Ohio, so it came a long, long distance. Probably uh, the furthest any car has uh, been transported here to Classic G Body Garage. If you guys check out the uh, first video of this car, uh, I have it uh, shown up on the uh, back of an 18-wheeler, uh, brought here on a car hauler, and I mentioned I would be doing a more detailed walk around of the car uh, after I looked it over. So here it is. This is the the uh, full detailed walk around. I'll show you guys what I have going on here, and uh, as you can see, overall it is a very original looking car, down to the original wire spoked hubcaps there you go cut the supreme brome so let me go ahead and do a once walk around here show you what it looks like and being from the west coast it is exceptionally clean and that is why i bought the car well one of the reasons why i bought it you can see the quarter panels are very very clean rockers are clean doors are clean i'll show you what it looks like underneath the doors there in a minute but you can see how nice the inner walls are I haven't gotten a look at the frame underneath just yet, but from the uh, the looks of it, the inner wells, it looks clean. Uh, trunk lid, and uh, I'll show you guys the inside of that there in a minute. It does have a few blemishes here and there, you know, not much, just uh, some some bent up molding, really. It is dirty. It's got some grease and dirt on it from from the uh, the uh, vehicle above it, which was probably leaking something. Maybe it's, that's some uh, hydraulic fluid from the, uh, the trailer of the truck. Who knows? It'll wash off either way. Final top, typical uh, age. But all the molding's there. All the molding's in, in very nice shape. You can see that. The, uh, looks like the rubber's in pretty nice shape there. Uh, to me, it looks all original, other than the, uh, the paint on it. Uh, that looks like that it was never in an accident that I can see. And... Uh, let me uh, open up the, uh, the doors, and I'll show you guys the interior. There you go. So that's what the, uh, the bottom of the doors look like. Very, very nice shape. And uh, the entire lip is in perfect shape. This is what the uh, quarter panel looks like, rocker panel. Very clean, West Coast car, interior, uh, typical... Uh, age you know typical wear of a car of this age uh, has the brome interior pillow top seats and it's it is pretty tore up it does have a little bit of uh, sun damage on the door panels there the uh, plastic is a couple marks here and there but overall it's not too bad it does have power locks uh, power windows tilt wheel delay wipers and power seat I don't know if it has a trunk release or not does not have a trunk release, which is actually, I'm kind of surprised that it, that it does not, being a, a brome, but see that diesel fuel only, so you can guess uh, what this car was. It does not have a motor in it, and I'll tell you that story here in a minute. 89,000 original miles on this car. Never even made it to 100,000. Eight track. Sweet, I could play my eight tracks. Sure. Back seat, nice shape. Uh, Overall, the interior is in pretty nice shape. It doesn't smell like it was a smoker car. It smells very clean, actually. It's not musty at all. So, closes very nice. Let me open up the trunk, show you guys what that looks like inside there. So, there you go. Trunk lid's in nice shape. Looks like the inside of the trunk is very nice. It's got some fancy trunk carpet in here. But, yeah, trunk is in. Real nice shape there. Doesn't appear that it's rusted at all, but the the guy, I tell you what, the guy who sold me this car was uh, someone great to deal with. One of the best sellers I've ever dealt with. He has everything bagged up. The fan shroud, radiator. He put all the miscellaneous parts in here from the, uh, the engine that was in it. Ooh, it even has a, a hat. How about that? So, box of parts left over from the engine when he pulled it out. 
uh, brackets and whatnot. Looks like the original jack is still in here. There's the crossover pipe. So that's what the inside of the trunk looks like. And uh, I'll show you guys passenger side. Just as clean as the driver's side. No rust at all on it. And there's the what the uh, inside the passenger door looks like. Seats are faded. You know, you gotta expect that of a car this age. But there you go. All right, let me go ahead and open the hood and I'll show you guys what is going on underneath there, or, or the lack of, I should say. All right, I mentioned it was a diesel car. And down right to the original diesel hood ornament. Cool thing about this car, original aluminum hood. So I'm very happy about that. So there you go, nothing under the hood. And this had an original 350 Olds diesel. Now back in the late 70s and early 80s, General Motors, they were putting 350 and 260 Olds diesels in just about everything. The G bodies, the B bodies, down to the Chevy trucks. And that is the reason why the engine is out of this car because the guy who uh, I bought the car from bought the engine for his 81 Chevy truck, which his truck originally had an Olds 350 diesel. And the motor that was in this car was a remanufactured low mileage engine. So he pulled it out and he's gonna use it for his truck and uh, decided just, you know, he didn't need the car. So he figured he'd just go ahead and sell it. And one of my friends found this car on Craigslist and uh, figured it would make a good addition to classic G-Body Garage. So uh, it does have the Hydro Boost brake system, which is common on all diesel cars. And it also has all the extra tar paper, insulation on the firewall on the heater box as well you can see typical of the diesel cars just to keep the uh, cabin quiet from those loud diesel engines and uh, so that's basically it car was just running and driving not that long ago unhooked everything wrapped it up real nice guy did a real good job with that uh, taking care of me like that and and uh, basically it's ready to put something else in here but you guys will have to wait for the uh, next video is for that because I will let you know what I have in store for this car. So will it get an engine? Won't it get an engine? Only time will find out, guys. So make sure you're subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave those comments. And until the next classic G-Body Garage video, keep those G-Bodies rolling.